the words of this artist literally made a boy cry. I think that's what art is all about. When I do my gallery patrol, I'm so happy to see the kids. Art is so special. It has these potentials that allow people to connect with the artwork. It took three years of research before we got the painting for the gallery. I love that we are able to satisfy the diverse needs of our communities. It makes the work that we do worthwhile. My favourite gallery moment was seeing Hakka Family by Georgette Chen for the first time. It took three years to bring this painting here and it's so fulfilling to see our visitors engaging with this incredible artwork. Also that we are able to use this opportunity to share with our visitors what our Southeast Asian artists are capable of. This particular program that I really like is called the Art With You program. And this program is specially designed for persons with dementia and their caregiver. I met these uh, mother and daughters pair in my group. Looking at different details of the artwork together, that the mom is in a safe space, that she is together with the daughter. And she felt that this was a very refreshing experience. It's very unlike the hospitals and clinics visits. This program provides a powerful respite for the mother and daughter. We serve a really diverse and wide range of participants. We have baseline accessibility provisions such as the calm room, which was supported by donors to really provide this safe and empowering space for emotional and sensory respite for visitors when they're feeling a bit overwhelmed here at the gallery. There's so many favourite moments, but I think there's one that really touches my heart. And this is when I heard about a mother and a five-year-old son's visit to our Wukonjong Gallery. The son was so captivated by Wu Guanzhong's work, he asked to meet the artist. And the mother told him, but son, the artist has passed on. And there were tears in his eyes. And that's the power of art, the ability to make connections across generations. I'm Ashton. I'm Serena. His name is Yaya In Singapore, we don't actually have many galleries and museums for kids. So the Kapal Centre for Art Education is one of the best places. This space is possible because of the donations from our donors. Without our sponsors, we don't have this place for kids to learn art and to express themselves through art. It is so fun! Thank you for the people who Thank donate! Thank you to the people who donate! <laughs> it is important to witness all these things that art has this impact to the community, to the people that's around us, to the volunteer who have donated their time Thank you. We're very thankful for all our donors and supporters um, for the provision of resources and services that really allows us to serve a very diverse range of community partners. A really heartfelt thank you because it's really through uh, the generous support. Curators like me are able to do deep and meaningful research into our Singaporean and regional artists. Art is for everyone. The gifts to the gallery, whether it is a gift of art, a gift of cash, a gift of time, through these gifts, we are able to make art more accessible to our audiences. We don't take their gift for granted. We believe that we need to share back with them the impact of their gift, how their gift has helped us to deliver on our promise. Thank you.